Hi everyone, today I want to talk to you about homogeneous differential equations. These are differential equations in which you have dy dx is equal to a function of x and y, and f satisfies a very important property. We say that f is, a, is homogeneous if it satisfies this condition. If you grab the arguments or the parameters of f and you multiply them by some factor t, you should get back the original function f of x, y, okay? So if the right-hand side of your differential equation satisfies this condition, we call it a homogeneous differential equation. Let me show you an example of an expression that satisfies this. Uh, let's say, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say let f of x, y be equal to 10x plus 2y divided by x plus y, okay? Let's say we have this. Now, let's check if this condition is satisfied with this expression. If we multiply, uh, let's say, by 2, let's say t equals 2, so we do f of 2x, f of 2y, well, we know this is going to be equal to, if we multiply all the x's and all the y's we see by 2, we're going to get 20x plus 4y divided by, you know how it goes, 2x plus 2y, okay? This is what you get. Now notice that you could factor out a 2 from here. So you could do, you could factor out a 2 from the numerator and the denominator, and you would have 2 times 10x plus uh, 2y divided by 2x plus 2, oh, not 2, plus y. Okay, that's what I meant to write. And of course, these 2s would cancel out. And in the end, what would you get? Well, you would get that f of 2x, 2y, is going to be the same as f of x, y, okay? Because notice that if you cancel out the 2s, you're going to get back f of x, f of x, y, okay? And this is what we mean when we say that, a that, that we have a homogeneous differential equation. We just mean to say that the right hand side of the equation satisfies this property, okay? And this property is very useful to be able to identify it because it allows us to make a really nice substitution to solve differential equations like this. So let me, let me, show, you, let me show you something you can do. You can go ahead and do the following substitution. You can say, let v be equal to y over x. And why are we doing this? Well, if f satisfies this property, it means that f is really a, a function of the ratio of y to x because notice that if we write, I'm going to write this and maybe this is a, a, an abuse of notation but it would still work if we say that f of x y is truly just a function of the ratio y to x then this new expression would also satisfy this property if you multiply y and x by t Notice that you're going to be able to cancel them out right away, even in this argument form. If I multiply t the numerator by, if I multiply by um, the numerator by t and the denominator by t, well, I'm going to be able to cancel them out. So, really, something you can do is you can rewrite the right hand side of the equation in terms of a ratio of y to x, okay? And you can do that by just coming up with a dummy variable, which we're going to call v, okay? Now, once you do the substitution, you're gonna do the following. You're gonna rewrite every y that you see in the function f, you're gonna rewrite it like this. You're gonna say y equals v times x, and then this is gonna give you uh, a function in terms, so the, your right hand side of the equation will be a function in terms of v and x, okay? And if that is the case, then you can rewrite dy dx in terms of v. And how can we do that? Well, we can just differentiate this. So we can say, um, dy dx is going to be, so I'm going to write the entire thing, dy dx is going to be dx of v times x, okay, based on this definition we, based on this substitution we did. And if we use the product rule, we're just going to get dv dx times x plus, and now we have v times the derivative of x with respect to x, that's just 1, so we just get v, okay. And this is what dy dx becomes. And then we can write our left hand side of the equation into this. So we're going to have 
dv dx x plus b is going to be equal to now what about the right hand side of the equation well it turns out that because f is truly a function of the ratio y to x you're always going to be able to factor out an x from the numerator and the denominator that you get and when you do that you're going to have a function solely in terms of b okay so then i'm going to say that on the right hand side of the equation we get g as a function of b okay so now we were able to turn this differential equation into this by making the substitution v equals y of x, v, uh, y over x, I'm sorry, v equals y over x, and you're gonna get something in this form, okay? And notice, this is actually pretty easy to solve because this is just separate, you can solve this for v using separation of variables. So we can do um, dv dx times x is gonna be equal to g, as a function of v minus v, this v here, I just moved it uh, to the left, to the right hand side of the equation. And now we can just simply, we can just rearrange this like this. So I'm gonna continue down here. Uh, we can just say this is dv divided by g as a function of v minus v. And the right hand side of the equation is going to be dx divided by x, okay? And you can integrate this as you would typically do um, with a differential equation. You integrate this. And once you do that, you're going to get a function of v on one side, a function of x on the other side. And you're always going to be able to solve for v. Well, I'm not sure if always. There may be a case in which v does not have... Uh, uh, you can't. You cannot find us uh, an explicit definition for v, but in most cases you're going to be able to solve for v. And and once you solve for v, you're going to be able to undo the substitution and find y in terms of x. Okay. Now this is the main theory behind homogeneous differential equations. In this video, I just wanted to go over an example of a homogeneous f that satisfies the property that it's a that that f is a function of y of the ratio y to x. Uh, on the next video, I'm going to show you an example solving a differential equation uh, using this method and using this substitution, okay? So stick around if you want to see that.